Question 5. General. 5.1. Open the document 5 study methods. Five point one point one. Locate the shaded section and do the following. Alright, so it must be this. Change the properties of the form fields next to the text item shown below as indicated. Right, surname. If the user enters, for example, the text Peters in this field, the text must be displayed as Peters in uppercase. Right, so I'll just double click that so that I can go into the properties and change the text format to uppercase. There's no need to test this. Number of attendees. The user must not be able to enter a number of 10 or more, so they may only enter up to 9. So, number of attendees, the number, the maximum length must be 1, because 0 to 9 will be 1 character long. Payment method. The user must only be able to choose from one of the following payments. Payment methods, cash, check or EFT. Let's see what they've got here. Cash, check. All right, so account we need to remove. Okay. Amount. The amount entered in this field must be displayed in South African currency format. So the number format must be currency rand. Then add a form field next to the text receipt required that will allow the user to indicate whether a receipt is required or not just by using the mouse. Note do not restrict editing of the document. Right, so for that one I'm just going to add a regular form field that's a checkbox. Please note that you will always use the legacy form fields and not content controls at the top here. You'll see if you hover over this, this is called a checkbox content control and they asked for a form field. So it actually has to be this one. 5.1.2 Set the vertical alignment of the page to top. Layout tab. Let's just zoom out and see what the change will be. I'm opening up the page setup group and the layout vertical alignment needs to be top. There you go. 5.1.3 Position the word art thank you exactly 20 centimeter below the top margin. Right, so we're going to select the word art and we're going to change it to a fixed position on the page and then go set that. So under see more we can go to the vertical absolute position must be 20 centimeters below the top margin. So now you'll see even if this changes the word art position doesn't change at all. Save and close the document. 5.2 Open the spreadsheet 5 bachelor passes. Five point two point one. Change the chart to look like the example below. Do not change any colors. Let's just see if we can find the chart. Yes, there it is. Okay. And they say note the following. The types of charts used for the different series. We've got matrix and bachelor passes and the wording of the legend. All right. So um, I've got the chart selected and I'm going to the design tab and to change chart type. Under combo, I can then choose that the blue series needs to be a column chart. Come on, there you go. Next, they said we need to note the series, uh, the wording of the legend. So matrix at the moment just says series one. So I'm going to do that under select data. And I'm going to edit this legend series one edit and actually change the series name to matrix. Okay, if it didn't stand there, I could actually have just typed it in. 5.2.2 .2. 
Use the subtotal feature to determine the average number of matrics, column C, in each of the provinces. All right, so there we have a lot of matrics um, per province. So if I want to do a subtotal, the first thing to note is that the column that I want to summarize needs to be sorted. So I want to summarize the province. So that's fine, it's already sorted. The subtotal feature is on the data tab. And I want to have a change, in other words, like a grouping, a summary, at each change in province. Yes, so each time it changes from Eastern Cape to Free State, from Free State to whatever's next, I want them to use an average on the number of metrics. And you'll see it's actually done that. There's an average, there's an average. You can see this clearly, quickly, if you actually... Um, just collapse the group you'll see it provides this little outline that gives you the grand total the subtotal and all the different records they didn't ask us to change this I'm just showing you how one does that save and close the spreadsheet 5.3 open the database five contacts 5.3.1 Add the contents of the text file 5 append to the existing table quotations. Right, so they actually gave us a nice clue in the name of the file itself. So I'm going to get external data. I'm importing an Excel file. I think it's Excel. Did they say it's Excel? Um, of the text file. Oh gosh. Text file. Text file. Browse. And then you'll just go find the data. There it is, five append. And we want to append a copy of the records to the existing table quotations. So the specific uh, table already exists and it will add the records to that table. It won't make a new table. Okay. Now, please go through this carefully. This is delimited by a comma each time. So if it didn't pick that up, you had to actually specify that it's a comma yourself. And um, if you're importing a text file um, that's not into an existing table, you need to double check that whether the first row contains field names and then tick that. In this case, it does not, so that's fine. Finish. You'll never save the import steps. This is only if you do the same kind of importing repeatedly at a company or something. So I've never seen that they would ever ask you to actually save the import steps because you're not going to repeat it again. Close. 5.3.2. Make the necessary changes so that the quotations table only contains, contains only the following four fields in the order indicated. So, at the moment, we've got cell phone number, surname, category, description, and accepted. So, let's just delete this description one first. I'm going to do this in the design view. Right-click, delete rows. Yes. And surname needs to come first, then cell phone number. So, I click on it once with my black arrow, and then leave the mouse button, and then move it with the white arrow. So surname, cell number, category, and accepted. Let's double check. Perfect. Save, close the database. 5.4. Open the document, five answers. In this question, you are required to type in the answers to questions in the spaces provided in the table. Use, open and use the document five paper to answer the questions below. Five point four point one. How many words are in the green highlighted paragraph on the first page? So let's select this paragraph and then you'll see it shows me the number of words. It's a hundred and fifty-four. Now I can just type the answer in here. One five four. Five point four point two. Locate the blue highlighted paragraph on page 17. Let's just find that first. There it is. 
what paragraph option must be applied to this paragraph so that two lines of this paragraph will be displayed on the next page. So at the moment you'll see, let's just zoom in, um, at the moment it displays only one line at the next page. So this paragraph option needs to be changed to have widow and orphan control the pagination. So if I've done that, I didn't have to do that. I just tested it. So now I can type in the correct option is widow orphan pagination. They would have given the mark if you just said widow orphan anyway, but widow orphan control pagination. Right, uh, I see they've actually included all the questions in here, so we can just use this. How many section breaks are in the document? Hmm, that's an interesting one. So let's see if we can find that using find. Advanced find, more, special, section break. So let's just say highlight all no items find next no results found right let's switch on our show hide and see if we can see anything ourselves i don't see anything there no all right i've checked the whole thing the answer is none Or zero. Five point four point four. How many times does the word undergraduate appear in the document? All right, so let's go find that again. Advanced find undergraduate reading highlights, highlights all fifty eight times. Now, I don't know if they might they didn't actually give me any kind of clue that I have to be very specific um, if they had said does the exact word undergraduate appear I would have been careful and rather done match case and find whole words only but they didn't so I think this is fine let's say highlight all 58 items Five point four point five. What is the status or metadata of the document? Status metadata. Okay. Uh, let's go here. Metadata. I don't see status over there. If I say show all properties, there it is. It's draft. Five point four point six. How much extra space has been provided at the left side of each page for binding or stapling? So let's go see margins, custom. The gutter margin is 0 0.6. What, that's what a gutter margin is for. Do you see that? So it's 0 0.6. Let's just be safe and say centimeter. There you go. That's it. Save and close the document five paper. Or no, close the document five paper. Save and close the document five answers.